My name's John Hingley and uh, my company is RenovaGen and we're developing a transportable solar power system based on a rollable solar array and we call this technology Roll Array. Um, this enables you to deploy very large solar arrays, um, unrolling a bit like a carpet, within very short spaces of time. So within 10 minutes you can have a system deployed from a trailer that you can tow behind a normal vehicle, uh, producing 6 to 10 kilowatt peak of power. Um, so you can power all kinds of different things from um, mining sites to events and festivals uh, to disaster relief. Um, the system can run 24-7, so it has a battery bank. Uh, we've built a lead-acid battery bank into this system, uh, but in future we'll be uh, working with lithium batteries as well. And that enables you to store the power for use during the night or when uh, there's bad weather, for example. Uh, the system uses uh, SIG's thin film solar cells um, and uh, that provides very good low light performance and um, it's a very lightweight and thin form factor which means that you can fit a very large capacity of uh, solar PV within a very small container. Um, and, in, and in this way we can achieve a power density for a transportable solar system of at least 10 times more than any competitive rigid panel solutions. I came up with the idea when I was travelling around the world on a year off and I was uh, travelling in Asia and the South Pacific in many remote locations without power and I had a folding solar panel with me which I used to charge my phone and my camera and I looked at this thin film solar material and thought it was such a great material, how can we scale that up to be a uh, bigger impact on global power usage, scale it up from 10, 10 watts to hundreds of kilowatts. And so this was a concept that I came up with in terms of making an entire array rollable. And when I came back from traveling, um, instead of going back to work for someone else, I decided to start the business to commercialize that concept. So we've been working on it for around two years. Um, and during that time, we initially did some feasibility testing and patent applications. Uh, we now have a granted patent in the UK. The project funded by Innovate UK um, enabled us to prove the concepts at a relevant scale and resulted in our 6 kilowatt roll array prototype, which we now have based at BRE. We've had a number of technical challenges, uh, the biggest of which was the rolling mechanics of this rollable array system um, and making uh, that work. Um, we had a number of months of development to try to overcome some of the issues uh, associated with delamination and destructive effects of uh, rolling materials up. Um, one of the big advantages of being able to um, leverage some of the grant funding from Innovate UK has been to uh, deliver a larger scale project and this demonstrator which has now provided the credibility uh, for our business to be able to raise equity funding uh, through a site called Crowdcube which is the leading equity crowdfunding website in the UK and we closed a 263k uh, crowdfunding round with them uh, which now enables us to move forward to the next phase of our development. I think funding support is one of the largest things. Um, the uh, Innovate UK and other organisations provide grant funding which is great uh, but some additional support around uh, cash flow financing for those funding methods would be brilliant. Um, and I think there are some ways in which um, some of the mentoring schemes uh, could be improved or made more collaborative uh, to enable um, access to mentors that have a very good domain knowledge in the specific industries in which you're working. Um, I'd say uh, don't give up, uh, go for it, never look back and keep plugging away at it. Uh, there'll be many setbacks along the way um, but you've just got to keep working on them, prioritise always to address each setback as it comes along and eventually you'll get there. We're excited about the trends in the industry of the reducing costs of lithium batteries, largely driven by uh, the electric vehicle market and also the uh, reducing costs of solar modules and um, these things in conjunction 
uh, we see as uh, applying a reduced cost for our system over the next five years as those co components come down. Um, and this system can then be cheaper than using a diesel generator. And it already is cheaper in some niche markets in very remote areas where the cost of transporting fuel to those sites is very, very high. Uh, but as we move towards 2020, this off-grid parity situation will occur in more and more locations around the world, uh, potentially until even in the UK, it can be cheaper to utilize a solar plus storage uh, system than it can be to use a diesel generator. And that's something that's very exciting to look at for our business uh, because it will help drive sales over the next five years. So moving on, we'll um, scale up the system slightly to around a 10 kilowatt system. Um, and we need to address a number of uh, regulatory compliance issues in order to take the product to market, which we'll do over the next six months. Um, and then we'll launch a product in the market at that scale um, in 2015. And we already have uh, customers in the pipeline uh, for demonstrator systems. Uh, so we're looking forward to securing our first orders and um, beginning to manufacture these units. So here is our trailer mounted six kilowatt roll array prototype. Um, this array is mounted on a motorized spool. So we've got a high torque gear motor which provides us with up to 800 newton meters of torque which enables us to spool out this array up to 30 meters long and spool it back in again within about three minutes. Um, the system has inverters and a battery bank built in so we can have AC power output and uh, we can store power for use during the night so we can run 24-7. Uh, the battery bank is currently lead acid in this system, but moving forward we'll also be using lithium, which enables us to store a much higher power capacity to potentially have two or three days worth of backup power stored within the same system.